Alright everyone, Coach Dave here. We're at Circuit of Americas, also known as COTA, track based in Austin, Texas. Uh, and a new track coming to ACC. Awesome, highly technical, 5.4 kilometers, um, with a lot of undulations as high as 40 meters in some areas. Um, also, the only track that currently hosts F1 MotoGP and SRO GT3 races, so pretty unique in that sphere as well. Um, but anyway, very technical, so I'm going to give you a short track guide just to point out some areas that you need to look out for to help you learn this new track that's going to taste. So we're going to be approaching turn one, uphill corner, 40 meters as we said, in, uh, in uh, altitude let's say, and uh, you can break a little bit later than normal um, because you can use the gradient to help you stop the car. The key thing though is to when you get over the crest at the apex is to make sure that you've got your rotation done as soon as possible because if you get on the power too early you're going to understeer off the exit uh, curbs and you're probably going to get track limits and so on. As you go through here easy flat through the section but then we're going to approach super technical high speed area very similar to Silverstone in its approach um, it gradually each corner gradually gets tighter and slower first corner is high speed be careful track limits through there braking for the second part and then braking and downshifting again for the third part depending on the time you're in you want to hold it nice and tight for this long right hander because it's actually the next left hander that is more important so staying to the right um, through the through the right hander sacrificing a little bit of speed to make this part easier because if you go too fast through here you're going to compromise this next left hand uh, right hander as well so the whole of sector one is all about connecting corners and getting the right sequencing sequences are the most important part of learning this track learning how do you compromise one corner for the next that left hander there provided you did the right hander correctly should be fairly easy likely full throttle depending on the car you want you are in and then we're going to approach our first uh, airpin, very good overtaking spot, nice and wide. You can really attack the apex if you're going for the inside move. If you're chasing lap time, nice wide entry. Again, get your rotation done before the apex so that when you get on the power, you reach 100% throttle um, for this long straight as soon as possible. That's the key thing. We want to get to 100% power as soon as we can. And we can only really do that if the car is uh, pointing as straight as possible. So. We've got to do all of our turning work on the entry to the corners, get our rotation done early so we can get to 100% power. Heading down the super long straight, we're going to approach another prime overtaking zone. Keep in mind that this is not actually a hairpin, it's actually a little bit more open than a hairpin, but it's still very tight. You're going to be braking just before the 100 board and take a nice early apex and get on the power early as well. Use all the track on the exit, then come back to the left as soon as you can and turn and brake quite early into this one and try your best to hold a tight line. Connect these two right-handers together. Consider that it's one long corner instead of two separate right-handers. And then this part here is also very technical. Very tight left-hander that will surprise you essentially in how tight it is. And depending on the car that you have, if you have an understeering car, you want to take a nice tight line and really get the, the steering engaged as soon as you can. And if you have an oversteering car, you're going to take a much more uh, wider open approach. So lots of line options in that left-hander, which is going to promote good racing as well. Lots of overtaking opportunities. This long right here, high speed right-hander, just got to hold it as tight as you can. If you get on the power too early through this long sequence, you're probably going to run wide and it's going to compromise this next section here, which is a high speed left-hander. Break early so you can pick out your apex pretty soon and then it will also allow you to get on the power earlier. If you go through there too fast, you're going to delay the point at which you can get on the power and you're probably going to run wide as well. You don't want to do that. For the final turn, we can brake slightly off track, but just be wary of the track limits. Use as much track as you can to open up the entry. It's actually quite a fast corner through here and the only thing you have to worry about on the exit are those sausage curbs. If you're precise around this racetrack, and if you spend your time learning the reference points as best you can, you're going to be really quick and uh, you'll benefit from the best lap times compared to your peers. So there you go, that's a track guide of the new Circuit of Americas which has just come to ACC. This is Coach Dave, catch you on the next lap. Peace.